It was Reverend Joseph Andrew Jensen, Sr. I'm in the hospital. I get my stomach pumped out and things. I'm really sick. Um, and I started out. I'm going to turn this TV off. Okay, what I'm going to do is turn the TV. I just turned the TV off. I'm in the hospital, like I said, and I'm in bad shape. But I'm still, I came back from Jerusalem last week. Now I'm back in the hospital now. Okay, I'm having a little bit of problems. And I'll probably have a lot more. The point of the matter is, is God's living ministry can't stop. It can't stop. It's got to keep on. It's got to continue. I was headed to Beijing in January after I went to Bujan I was headed to Beijing to see Leon Lao, Leon Lao, to try to get the Industrial Bank of China to realize that the new banking system for the whole world would be 12 billion people, new accounts added to whatever the world has today. 12 billion new accounts added to the world today. Can you imagine what the world would be like with 12 billion new accounts added to the world today? This is what the world wants, this is what God wants to do. At least the God that was with me. Our Father to God is not wanting anything to do with humanity. He's totally disrupted by humanity. Stepping God, walking away from God, turning on God. This all started, okay, I pretty much got the message down to one factor. The one factor is common with the Quran, common with the Torah, and common to the to the uh, Bible. The one factor is Abraham. God never told Abraham to kill his son. He couldn't tell his son, uh, Abraham to kill his son, because God lives in everybody. He lives in everybody there he is. To prove this is the fact that this is a fact. God lives in everybody. You have life. You have breath. You are living. Whatever reason we were living, whether it's electricity, petrol, whatever energy that drives us, would it have gone so far as to pick our parents? The first time that we were conceived, ask your parents where they came from. Ask your parents. You're going to get a story that they could have been from different countries, different states, different places, and, or next-door neighbors. But the fact is they were at a journey that had to be crossed. They had Their paths had to cross. And then the, while, John, while God was looking at your parents' DNA and looking at your parents, he created you inside your DNA. This is called the first conception, okay? The first conception. The first time that God conceived you, the marriage between your mother and father and the first time that God created you is in the first conception. After your parents met and they were mar married and they had you, God knew he's in secret. Read the 137th, 39th Psalm. He was there. The parents knew when you they made you created you in secret. He was there waiting on your father. He said, come on, come on, come on in. I've been waiting on you a long time. So you come in and and he gave he followed your father in, giving life to your, your mother's womb. And he gave you life. This is your second conception, the second birth. What well, did Jesus say? Lest you be born again, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of the living. You shall unless you be born again, you shall not enter the kingdom of the living. Okay? That's what Jesus said. Can a man be born twice? Of course he was. He's, from the time he's conceived by God the first time in marriage and, 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 uh, and created you as your child in your DNA, floating around in your DNA? Yeah. To the time that he, your paths crossed and they actually made you, created you? This is, your first, this, this is the second conception. Second conception when you was really born. This is also a fact. This fact is that you're breathing, you're talking, you've got knowledge, and, and, and God had prior knowledge of you and your, your 
your your looks, what you're going to look like, everything about you, knew everything about you. He had to make you meet. Electricity wouldn't have done that. Petrol wouldn't have done that. No noble gas would have done that. That's the reason life is special. We are not humans, beings, meaning we're not uh, rocks. We are not like rocks. We're not like anything else. We have life. All DNA has life. All plants, animals, trees, insects, everything that has DNA has life. We are not the same. God has DNA. God himself, because he's immortal. We are all immortal. Do you understand that we're immortal? Now, you just got through watching, I just got through watching The Empire Strikes In on a marathon in the hospital, and I can't stand it. But the message came through loud and clear. This message is the same. Because what I'm about to tell you is the message that, that, we, that we've been following, the same as, as the, uh, the Empire Strikes Back. Because it started with one man. You see where, uh, where Abraham did not challenge God, uh, was not challenged by God to kill his son. He, says he, he said, I want to become your chosen. And I'll prove myself, I'll kill my son to prove it. God provided his sheep, so he didn't do that. He said, no, no. Yeah, Abraham, you don't want to start this mess of being a chosen people. Because right away, God knew what was going to happen. What that, what's happened since then? The Jews went on a killing spree. They started making the rules, the judgments. You can't eat pig, can't eat pork, can't eat drink beer. You can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. You got to do this and do that. that. You got to bow this way, you got to bow that way, you got to to touch this way, you can't touch this way. They just made rules upon rules. And who followed them? The Christians. The Christians followed, and they, they created more murders and mass murders and, and, and uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, they, uh, you know, it, it just killed, 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 killed. And they spin that one way. And then the, then the Muslims followed them, all justified thinking they're working with God. What's the difference between the Empire Strikes Back? You've got one force, one bad person, one bad apple. That started the whole mess by the by by the evil emperor. Yep, one evil emperor is going to control the whole galaxy. Yep, this one guy's thoughts. He has to recruit. And then the next guy, then the next guy. Pretty soon they have everybody in their control. There's no difference. This is what's happening in religion. Can you imagine what it's like for God to sit here and listen to people that say they're saved and they're going to heaven while everybody else is going to hell? When the fact of the matter is that everybody in this world is saved? When they think that they are they they're making a judgment, they're telling God, Yeah, I'm saved because I've done everything you asked. That's BS. They didn't done it, nothing that God asked. They didn't do nothing that God asked. They haven't even read the Bible. They don't even understand the Bible. They think they know it, and they, they, they don't even understand it. This is, this is the way it is. The same people that are preaching to you are the same ones that, that want, don't want to read the Bible, and they don't, want to, they don't want to be wrong. But they want to keep on killing. They want to keep on killing. They want to keep on justifying their killing. You want cowboys and Indians and books, the, the stuff that's going on in, in today's world. What would it be like if nobody was killing What's it going to be like if everybody had money and nobody nobody had time for each other? Everybody just had the time to spend, uh, spending the money. That, you know, everybody had the same problem as spending money, inventing, uh, starting up their own businesses, doing everything they can, buying cars, buying cars, partying, doing anything they wanted to do. What would it, the problem be? Because you nobody be associating with each other because everybody has the same problem. They would be actually going back to the roots. Their families, doing for their families and enjoying each other. When I'm driving a car, am I driving the car with? It's just between me and God. When I add a, te a text in between there, then somebody else is telling me, they have to come in. He says, "I'm not worthy to drive myself. I need to do drive with the GPS telling me where to go." No, it's not that way. I'm driving the car, just like when I drove a crane for 35 years. 
I can't pull a lever and push a button and pull a lever unless God push a button and pulls a lever first. Is this making any sense to y'all? We have God living in us from the very beginning. Of, uh, from the very beginning, even the day when you was just thought of. From the day that you was just thought of, God living in us. Come on, now we God's living with us through our whole life. And we, we don't recognize who God is? Now I take that back because the God living in me has only been alive 72 years. Where the God that, 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 that found my parents, that was, that was God the Father. That was God the Father. God the Father is, is, is the one that, that, that found your parents and put them together. But even so, God the Father still came into you and gave you life into your DNA and was in your life Long, long before the God in me, which he likes to be called EI. EI is said a million times. I said, "Kabote, kabote, shira, kabote," meaning kabote means I am IE, I am IE. Shira means listen. Shira kabote. This is what he says. Okay, I got a nurse coming. He's gonna. No, you're good. I'm just. Hey, but I'm just the idea is that. You're just trying to say, trying to say, is this whole thing is 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 not right? Everything I'm trying to tell you is is backwards, and the world wants to keep on believing everything is, is cool. It's not cool. Nobody should be killing each other. Nobody should be um, uh, thinking of anybody being killed. Everybody should be growing, spending, investing, living, partying, having fun. There's no reason to keep on punishing each other and being cruel to each other, involving yourself in other people's lives. When it's just between you and God and in your life, you're driving a car, for God's sake. You're driving a car, that means it's only you and God within yourselves. You can't even really tell your children what to do because they got God inside them, it's guiding them as well. I mean, it's like you got to give God room. You can't, you, can't, you can't override God inside a person, even if the child thinks it's... Well, you you listen to God, or you listening to your, yourself? You know what I'm saying? You might give him a little reminder like that, but you can't play God. You can't tell force a person to believe something that that's wrong. Do you understand? The world would be a whole different place if we just get off this this kick of it started with the chosen people. The chosen people are these people, starting with the Jews. I even forget the word now, but you know when they they, they started this 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 mess of killing everybody in, in a whole uh uh all the Palestinians again. I mean, this this is a uh, what I can't even think of the word, but you know what I'm talking about. When you try to kill a whole people, this is this is what the, the Jews did back when Saul was uh, uh 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 Samuel told Saul to kill everybody, genocide. When you don't do that, to kill it, 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 even David, when wrote, he said, "I hate, I hate them with the perfect hatred." How can people hate their enemy? Hate them and they don't even know each other when they go to war. We've been put up against fighting each other and killing each other all these years. It doesn't have to be this way. There doesn't have to even be any borders. The fact of the matter is, that money would cure everything if everybody was. Uh, 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 could could choose where they wanted to live and live wherever they wanted to go. Could afford to, they just go any place they want to go and live. In fact, in, in, in countries wouldn't have any rule anyway. When you got a hundred, when you got to have this financing done, sixteen, twelve billion people. There's only nine billion people in the world. But every time I would get money, every time money somebody turns in their money, like Donald Trump or, or Jeff Bezos or, or Elon Musk or uh, Bill Gates or Donald Trump, every time they turn in their money, they'll get up to 5,000 times more, more money in God's coin. I'm not going to deny them their money. I'm giving them more, up to 5,000 times more of their money. So they're not going to lose nothing, but they're telling them more to get their money out of the United States, get it out of these regular currencies. And they go, do, do, like their bought money, do something right. Well, I asked Elon Musk to, to, to go bail out North Korea. North Korea pays 5000 
won to, to each dollar. 5,000 won to each dollar is the same thing as saying you're the poorest country in the world uh, because of the fact is that Burundi it pays five thousand dollars, five thousand Burundian francs to the dollar. So if fund five thousand Burundian francs to the dollar is the same as saying um, Donald Trump, you can go to, you can go take a country of Burundi with twelve billion dollars and take all your money there and make them all millionaires, and uh, you'll get five, you'll be worth, you'll be a quintillionaire with five thousand times uh, the Burundian francs that you. Uh, already have because every, every Burundi franc will be worth a god's coin I only, when I get the money from you guys Elon Musk from Bill Gates when I get you say the world will start changing because it's going to start with the smallest countries first you'll see them coming the world will see them coming it's going to start with Palestine and, Jew, and Jordan and once it goes to Palestine and Jordan it's going to be a Burundian it's going to be in North Korea it's going to be in Colombia, South America. It's going to be in Cuba. It's going to be in India. It's going to be everywhere. Continent after continent is going to fall, and the people are going to see it coming. But you know who's going to be paying for God's coin? The people in the United States, because they're going to be penalized. Why? Because they're the, because they're the ones that 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 that, that put the cost of five thousand to one dollar. So instead of that, they're going to pay, be paying $75,000 for a God's coin in the United States. Who's going to want to stay in the United States then? Nobody. It would be the most expensive state, state to, to, place to live in. Well, maybe you would. Because it, it's, it's all relative. United States will get by. They still have cars. They still have roads. They'll still because everybody's going to be working for the for the for God's coin anyway. All labor is going to be free. All labor is going to be free. Everybody's going to be working for God's coin. One God's coin per month for twelve months a year. The God's coin is worth one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. Multiply that times twelve. Or worth seventy five thousand dollars. I'm taking back. So it's a little bit less than a million dollars a year. But everybody will be working for that. You where labor is free. You just go do your same job, but learn your job right. Do your job right. Be proud of your job and do it. They don't care if it's at McDonald's. You do it so that you can get your seventy five thousand dollars a month. When you get your your money, you'll be glad to work at McDonald's. You'll be glad to work as a trash collector. You'll be glad to work at that, but you're only going to work a four hour work day anyway. The point of the matter is, is everybody has to, to start listening. I got to get my name out there. Somebody's got to recognize who I am, Joseph Andrew Jensen Senior. They look at my videos, look at this, and they start buying my books and things. Give me a break. I'm in the hospital. I've done enough. I've got been there twice and I've gone through all, all these countries and everything else for God and this is not for nothing sure that we that we're we're fighting God against this because God God the Father himself is not wanting anything to do with humanity why is God the Father himself because he's written off humanity we've written off him we've written off God he's not really happy with this deal he doesn't think we deserve another chance I, I.e., the God inside me th thinks we do have a chance. He's trying to convince. I am. Might as well say I am as I am. He says I am God, right? Then I.e. says I. Uh, I.e. Right? I. Like I. I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, he's going up against a big, uh, a big number here. It's, it's God, but I.e. says says he thinks it's worth it. He thinks we're worth it. If we don't want to have to be under the empire strikes yet, we don't want to get against one evil empire that, that starts the whole mess. We don't want to be one person that considers himself to be the, the chosen one to start do, doing the killing spree, the one that wants to be the leader. When you guys get the phones and you're able to go to the banks and do your phone, phones, yeah, you're going to have, you're going to have your, your job, but you're also going to have your phones. So that you'll be able to aid the police. You'll be able to aid, you're going to be, become paramedics. You're going to become police. You're going to become part of the military. 
And so you're going to have your phones to be called to aid the police, to aid the, aid, aid the ambulance, aid the it, things. Yes, as part of your training for one hour a day. You will be uh, part of the police. Four hours a day at work. One hour a day doing martial arts. One hour a day in kindergarten. That's the way it's supposed to be. When you everybody starts back in the same grade, so they learn the the right stuff over again. But the thing about it is, I may sound like cra crazy. Would you guys, anybody, you think they can come up with a better idea? There's no better idea. The world has got, got got to change. It's got to change overnight. You want to keep the killing, keep on killing to to God's satisfied. There is a starts starts as miss over uh, without us. Yeah, that's about what it's come to. He's so aggravated with us see, that we we have turned our back so far on God that the thing because we we have no business turning our God, our backs on God. But when God lives inside us and we, and we don't we don't recognize Him, and we and we and we go the other way and we we're actually it's, it's blasphemous. They're praying to God saying that we're self righteous. Oh, we're thinking we had everything. We're telling God, yeah, we. We're, we're we're saved. We're we're you, your your children. We're the, this. We're that. When God, in fact, doesn't it doesn't even know us and doesn't it hates us. We're blasphemous. Have no idea what God wants in life. We haven't done God's will and starting out with. We've been doing our will. Our will be done. It's never been supposed to be our will be done. It's supposed to always been God's will be done from the very beginning. We were caretakers of the garden. Adam was just to choose uh, to take care of the animals, name them, name the plants, name the trees, and take care of all the animals and trees. That was the will of God, given a job. Adam and Eve were given the job to to, to clean, to, to, to be caretakers of the garden. What does the, the new Roman Catholic Church say? No, it was created all created for our pleasure. That everything was created is that we can torture the dogs, we can torture the animals, we can kill the trees. It was all built for our pleasure. Nothing was built for our pleasure. Built for God's pleasure. Built for God's pleasure. You were the hell did we get off thinking that we it's that this world was built for uh our pleasure? It's built for God's pleasure. It hasn't been God's pleasure. That's been God's disappointment. We're God's disappointment. And those are really hurting right now. I'm going to have to quit. But this is what I'm saying. I want Leon, Leo, to understand. Somebody's got to get this message and make you understand. 12 billion new accounts. 9 billion people in the world. $3 billion in future generations. But the $3 billion in future generations has to... We'll be paying off the debts of every country, starting with the thirty-four trillion dollars in the United States. Then going to the twenty-six trillion dollars in China. In fact, God's living ministry will be buying every country, so there won't be any borders. There won't be any things. People will move where they want to move. China will has, will, will will revisit life when China gets finally gets. Uh, they, uh, the control they will have what they call the same thing in the United States a a a homestead act where everybody's given goes out and claims land the homestead so that they stretch out throughout their borders. China's the biggest country in the world, but they got to stretch out their borders and give away the land. So it, it let the people go out there and homestead all the country in China. So it will. Quit living in the cities. Quit living in in compact areas and counting on each other. With that money, all they got to do is move on with life. We all got to stretch out. Quit getting in each other's nerves. We all have to be uh, go back to the family. When you go to the ocean, take God with you. Let God let God feel the water. Let God fit flesh. Be His hands, His feet, and mouth. Let God be. When I went to the monastery in Petra on account. On a donkey, for God's sakes. I was up there on the concrete. I slapped the floor and they said, Do you hear that? You can hear the echo in the monastery. I slapped my hands on the monastery floor. 
You can hear the echo when I say, hear that, God? <laughs> you guys, my family, hear it. You can hear it. You can smell it. Yeah, we're here. We're here. Yeah, thank God we're here. Yeah, I leave my head down on the floor, the cold floor of the monastery. Yeah, I say, we're here. We're here. This is for you guys. That's right. We're there to take them with us to the ocean. We're there to take them on picnics. We're there to take them. You see, And talking to yourself, don't worry about it if you talk to yourself. You're not talking to yourself. You're talking to your family. You're talking to God. I happen to speak in tongues. This has never been my voice. This is me, God-given God voice to, to God. It's never supposed to have been interpreted. Paul was is the Antichrist. Paul is the Achiever. They, they prove the fact that they, they need to find out why Paul was killed, how Paul was killed. Paul and Mark were killed together four years after they crucified Peter in secret because they kept the, the secret from them. From the Christians, they kept the, uh, Peter's crucifixion and his brother Andrew's crucifixion hidden from, and they put John on the island of Patmos so they didn't find out. So all the all the Christians, Peter's Christians, did not know anything about the cru Peter being crucified with John being sent to the island of Patmos and Andrew being crucified. Didn't know anything about that. They kept it hidden for four years, and when he found out, and then and Paul had the nerve to write Second John, Third John, First Peter, Second Peter, and Third Peter. Whoa! He had the nerve to write. Keep on writing. Over twenty-two books in the Bible have been manipulated, manifested by Paul and Mark. You want to keep reading a book that you you, you claim is is say. The same book that they, they claim that, that started this mess, by by the same books, uh, the Torah and that they claim that the that that uh, God told uh, Abraham to kill his son. It was a lie. It was a lie. God told me so. That's what it all boils down to. The same thing as Paul's a lie. Complete, complete lies, Antichrist. That's why the Christians killed him. That's why the Catholic Church is covered up so much and thrown out the books, the books of Enoch, the book of Jubilees, the book of uh, all the books of the apostles. There was a book of Bartholomew. There was a book of, uh, of books of Judas. Judas it was included in, in the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Catholic Church is going to try to hide every bit of that stuff away from the eyes of Christians. Who the hell are they? Who the hell are these people that, they, 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 that put us under their control? We'll be in our control. You want control of your life? Then recognize me. Buy your God's coin for $1 from my website. Go to God's Living Ministry. Uh, godsmessage.com, God's Living Mystery, godsmessage.com, all small letters. Go to it. Go to the web store and buy, buy my God's coin. Buy as many as you can. Support my ministry. Give me the means to go to Beijing. Give me the, the means to, to go to these places and continue my work. Even the 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 bank of uh, the the industrial bank of China is not ready for for twelve billion accounts. They barely got one one billion accounts. But they have a bank that has twelve billion accounts because the money that gets deposited in there immediately gets split, divided into twelve billion diff different different uh, ways. Okay, that puts put money into everybody's account immediately till there is no money left in the world. It's all, all been divided up in God's coin. De -de 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 -de. Then there people are being paid God's coin already. $175 a month. Or $75,000 a month. $75,000 a month. Is that not enough money for you to go ahead and work at McDonald's? Sure is. You should be happy with that. I'm just trying to make a point here. The world wants to keep on like it's going. 
If they don't, then I'll go along with God. Let us meet our destruction. Let him start over sometime else. This got to stop. I'll go along with God. If, he, if, this, if this doesn't work, if nobody wants this, then by God, just let us meet our demise. Hopefully sooner than later. You know, instead of stretching this out. This is, this is not right. But they could have this sooner than later too. You could have God's coin sooner or later too. All you got to do is become aware and get involved. All you have to do is listen to this and get the word out. Listen to this. I've gone through enough. Am I special? No, I'm not special. I'm just God's messenger. You're the one special because you're listening to me. I'm not a prophet. I'm not really special. I'm, I'm just a messenger. I used someone who gave me this message. And we didn't know when we started out with that we were going to be going against God. So we really haven't had God's help in any of this. Because God really isn't wanting to. I think God's kind of backing off now because he's kind of uh, seeing that our sincerity that we really love. You know, God can't, has to consider that you still have unborn inside us. We still have our families inside us and he still lives inside us. Does he really want us to get rid of humanity that bad or does he want to give us all a second chance? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. This is our second chance. You people that are coming in there and going to church saying you're saved and you're glorified uh, things and you're, you're thinking you better shut your mouths. Shut your mouths now. Shut your mouths and repent. Get off your high horses and get out of your self-righteousness and you repent. You repent now. Say, I'm sorry, God. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for to put myself on a pedestal. You better get down and repent. That's what the whole word means. When God said to recognize him, he said, recognize me where I'm at. Believe on me. That's what Jesus said. Believe on me and you shall be saved. Well, you believe on Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is in your heart. You can guess where God is. God's right there in, in your same body. If God's in your same body, then, then how in the hell do you say that God's in heaven when you don't know where he's at? Come on, people. I'm going to leave you go now. But this message has got to go out. And me, I'm making it for a reason. And I'm in the hospital. I'm going to put it on YouTube now. But here, this is this is it. But this is it. And I'm, when I still gonna, got to make it to China to, to get them to realize if they can open 12 billion new accounts and all the money in the world can be divided 12 billion ways and still be making money every day by God's coin. Where everything's free, education's free, healthcare is free because everything's free. You're not, in other words, when you start a business, you're not going to pay for somebody's labor. You're paying, you're getting free help, free labor. All you got to do is provide the means, the brick and mortar. Okay, let's go. I'm going to leave it. Good night.